Hodgson's new Old Linesford Black Powder. William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzle Loading, and I attend the SHOT Show every year. Well, I'm talking to good friend Chris Hodgson of Hodgson Powder Company out of Shawnee, Kansas. Yeah. Now, these people make black powder. Right. And anybody who knows black powder has probably shot Goex. And how is the situation with Goex right now? Goex is doing really well. We, um, uh, we are now on full production. And uh, we are trying to fill the sporting market as quickly as we can. Uh, we've got a new powder out that's coming out with GoX called Old Linesford. And what it is, it's a premium black powder. Uh, we're making a 1.5 and, and 2F and 3F size powder. And it's a premium grade black powder for black powder cartridge and for any kind of muzzle loading purposes. So uh, this is to, uh, well... <laughs> actually compete with the Swiss powders, which have been imported at extreme cost into the U.S. for uh, right. 10 right. years or better now. Sure. Yes, the price point on the old Einsford is going to be significantly less than, than the Swiss, uh, but the quality is going to be is going to be just as good. Uh, we're, we're seeing about a 50 feet per second increase in, in the velocities of old Linesford, um, and it's going to be equal or better than Swiss. All right. Yeah, I took some pictures of that a while back, so we'll, we'll run them about now. Now, uh, you have some pelletized powder there, too, well, which I'm also familiar with. Right. White House has been out for several years now, but it but it is, in my opinion, it is the most consistent pellet that we've made on the market. Um, I found that the, the group sizes with, uh, with White Hots um, have, have shrunk down. Um, say, uh, say you're using a inline uh, with a 250 grain bullet at 50 yards. Um, you ought to be able to get an inch and a half easily with white hots uh, at 100 yards, probably a two inch or a little less group. I've, I've just found my consistent shot to shot performance with white hots is is much is is the best. It, it, triple seven is good, but I think white hots is better. <laughs> well, indeed. Now, compared to Pyrodex pellets, uh, how does this compare to those so far as 100 grains of White Hots versus 100 grains Pyrodex? Right. Well, 777 is a little more energetic, so you are going to get increased velocities with it. Um, it is cleaner burning. Um, and it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have that sulfur or carbon black in it. So obviously, it's going to be a lot cleaner at the end of the day. You can clean it with water. Um, so it's so it, all in all, it's a very very nice product. Now, are, are the white hots is easy to clean up. Yes, yes, you clean it like I said with water. It's easy. No, no, you know, soapy, uh, hot water, all that. Now, nah, don't have to do all that. Just use plain old water. Um, and and run a brush through there a couple times and four or five patches and boy it's clean. Yes, sir. Well, I have shot both triple seven as a loose powder and only available as a loose powder. Right, right. And I've also shot the white hot pellets uh, both uh, here and elsewhere, and I had excellent result with both. Right, right. Well, good deal. Um, you know, we have the good, better, best, the Pyrodex pellets, triple seven, and now the IMR white hots. All righty. Well, thanks very much, Chris, and have a good show. Well, thank you. Good to see you, Hobie. Besides my book, Extreme Muzzle Loading, I also have Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies per Pound, Crossbow Hunting, and Practical Bow Fishing. For more information on my books, blogs, videos, and radio show, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.